Hello. There you go. Hello. Oh, I feel inclined to say good morning, but it is in fact 2 p.m. in the afternoon. <laughs> so, good afternoon, I suppose. phone is very much almost dead, <laughs> but I'm checking stuff, so don't mind me. Oh, stop it. Ads, my beloved. Come on. There you go. Don't mind the green shading. I do not remember the last time I've finished something on stream. Like, art-wise, I, I don't remember. Feels like it's been a minute. Because I've been doing different things with how I render my art recently. And I literally cannot remember when I last, like, art streamed and everything, so... My process might be slightly different. I'm just finishing this as a pseudo warm-up of sorts. Ooh, and then I'm gonna work on some art fight attacks. Oh, pardon me. I do not remember the last time I did lineless art. It's been a minute since I've done lineless for sure. I was shading. It's from the face, I think. Oh, right. Heath. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck was I doing? Heath.
こには春が音も立てず過ぎてゆくよ。あいつの子。Oops. <laughs> Weepsy daisy. Man, the one thing I don't miss about doing lineless art is all of the layers. <laughs> Definitely don't miss this. It looks so nice, but layer management is a nightmare.
Oh my god. Man, oh man, I have been having quite the last few days. I didn't even realize it had been so long since I did my anniversary stream. <laughs> Until like last night or like yesterday. So I was like, oh yeah, you know, I should get a new, you know, now that like my weekend break is over. I should get like a new stream schedule figured out for the week. And it was like only then that I like actually looked at like the day. And I was like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> but we're attempting to get back on track. As soon as my body stops rejecting me. As soon as I stop being sick. Then we'll like actually get on a roll. <laughs> Which would be nice. It's like such funny timing because like I'm trying to, you know, get a bunch of different stuff started for streams, like different playthroughs and stuff. Because I have a bunch of new games I want to do and like some like previously planned like projects and streams I want to do and all that. But I'm also going into like a super busy time for myself. Cause like not only am I working a day job and stuff, I'm also um, moving next month and then starting a new full-time job. So I'll have to balance streams around like my hours and adjust to the new job and everything like that. It's like, man, shit has to get, get, get busy right when I don't need it to, it seems. I don't remember to save.
Oh, actually, wait. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I did those on the same layer. God damn it. do gradients on those. I love shading because I really I'm really just flying by the seat of my pants. <laughs> you know? Hoping and praying. <laughs> You just gotta shade the hair, I think. Oh, and the wing and the wings, I guess. I guess those can have shading. It's not like they're important or anything. Oops, come on. There's the hair curl. <gasps> Less than three. Ah, oh, Ollie! <laughs> it feels weird to say, but see, seeing your username with the red heart beside it gives me a lot of serotonin. Hi. Hello! That makes me happy. <laughs> it's cute. Anytime I see any of like the sub badges being used, it makes me happy. What, is it the one year or the nine month that also has a sub badge? I can't remember. I'm gonna check that. I'm the. <laughs> Because it's- it, I have the three sub-badges, and then BB is the last sub-badge I have currently, but I don't know if I have that set for nine months or for the one year. How far off is BB? Will we get BB by the end of the year? How far off? Oh, no. Which don't unmute me. How dare you. Um... Creator dashboard? I don't know how to navigate anything. Less than three. I love it. I love that it reads it as less than three. All right. Where's my sub badges? Come on, fuckers. <laughs> I'm so mad, why can't this be easy? <laughs> why must it be hard? I feel like BB's the one year. Don't quote me on that, but BB might be one year. We'll just assume BB's the one year. I don't know if I have a nine month badge. Maybe I'll add one though. I have a vague idea for one. It would be um, like all three of the stars together. <laughs> um, hair, I was shading hair, that's what I was doing.
<laughs> how does it feel, Ollie? Other, other than me, you're the only person who has that sub badge right now. Feels great. <laughs> That's your reward with putting up with for putting up with me. <laughs> A little red star badge. I'm gonna do this loop by loop here. Might be easier. So how are you doing today, Ollie? Imagine nerve collecting these little badges or buttons and pinning them on their shirt. Yes, yeah, little little pin, little badge. Maybe if I ever do like <laughs> pins or badges in the future, maybe I'll do like some variation, like a fancier version of the different um, sub badges. Maybe I'll do that. Little charms, little sticker sheet or something. Alright, working on a few projects need to get done very quickly. Good stream for it. We always like our, our working streams together. Drop some costume products on me last minute, so I need to finish them for tomorrow. Ah, I see! <laughs> Emergency costume designer. line to be more satisfying is what my brain keeps saying to me. It's not satisfying. The curve doesn't hit right. A curse of being the creative of a family with no job. Ugh, understandable. <laughs> 
Oh, hello! Hello, Jay. How's cat game? How, how did cat game go? What song is this? Um, A song in a language I don't read. It's by Lamp. That band I told you about in the car. <laughs> it's by Lamp. Um... I don't know the English name, I'm afraid. I could try and give- I could g look up a rough translation, but I don't- I don't know if that'd be- that would work or not. Um, which one is this? This is number six. Here, let's go to Google Translate. And get a name. Also, I accidentally restarted the song, so I guess we're just gonna <laughs> listen to all of it again. Sorry, I haven't switched. I haven't switched the language to Japanese yet, so it's just translating to English as a question mark. It's called Daydream. Daydream by Lamp. That game plays good. Good to hear. <laughs> yes, Lamp. I recall. So this one's called. This one's called Daydream. I forgot I didn't- hmm. <laughs> I forgot I didn't take that off, actually. options remembered you put <laughs> Yes, I am. Also, I got rid of it. It's not there anymore. You might have to refresh, but it's not there anymore. I promise. I turned it off. sent a bunch of HD cat pictures. <laughs> oh. Oh, bumped the mic. What else is new around here? I 
that lasts so long, deserved pay rates. It went from, I think, three seconds to like 10 seconds, I think. I think that's it. Because like I wanted originally, I wanted one that was like in between like five seconds long. Um, but I went for three second one. And I was like, nah, nah, that's too, <laughs> that's too, that's too short. So when he started unionizing, I upped it to 10 seconds. If that doesn't keep him happy, maybe I'll add one that's even longer. <laughs> there's like pet BB and then there's pet BB long. <laughs> it's like 30 seconds. Sick from pay raise. Yes. You can't say I don't pay him well. <laughs> speaking speaking of the charms and stuff, um, I was gonna actually ask you, Ollie, because I mentioned like a sticker sheet with the like nicer versions of what are what's the uh, <laughs> keep petting him. Um, mentioned like stickers of the of the of like nicer versions of the sub um, badges. That's what I'm looking for. I'm also considering other. Like charm designs. I was I realized only right now as I'm sitting here that I actually have a lot of theoretical designs and stuff I could do based on like for like original stuff. Cause at first I was like, oh I could do like a pixel charm or something, like like sticker pixel charm design thing. And then I remember that I have costumes, and I was like, oh wait. <laughs> I can do a lot of different ones actually, because I have different like costumes and themes and things. Also a BB charm could be cute. I think a BB charm would be nice. Very cute, yes. Yes, Ollie, it is it is it is going to be, I assume, <laughs> a public secret that me and Jay are working on stuff together. <laughs> My lips are sealed. <laughs> yes. Working on many things together. Talk about our plans in detail. Who knows? <laughs> uh, probably not. <laughs> well, you know, the first, the, the first thing, you know, thing we're talking about right now. We'll probably talk about that. The other stuff, probably not. That's more top secret. <laughs> nah, not yet. Exactly. That's like the actual secret stuff. Which reminds me, now that I'm back drawing again, I should probably work more on that logo stuff at some point in my free time. Finalize that, maybe start building some things. Not to like get ahead of ourselves, but just to figure out what, I'm, what I need. Dark host charm. I forgot about- I saw the glow in the dark charms and I was like, I cannot think of a single thing. But no. Glow in the dark host charm, but the part that glows in the dark <laughs> is his eyes. I was thinking about host stuff, but I wasn't sure if I should do one or not for like an actual design to sell. You know, like if I- like if I should do that or not. Glow in the dark eyes on a host charm though would be great. I, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna sell the Tommy one, but I can't wait to get the Tommy one for myself. 
That one will be a lot of fun. That is extremely self-indulgent. Who knows? I use Tommy on my TikTok, so maybe folks will be interested enough eventually, like by the time I get to it, that maybe folks would be interested. Tommy's kind of a fave of some people's. People people like my, my hot 80s boy. And it makes me very happy. People see him and go ooga. <laughs> As God intended. A little too soon, perhaps? Yeah, exactly. I think, sadly, I think any any stuff regarding host and co will be a few years off. <laughs> Other than, like, stuff we want personally. <laughs> Ollie's sitting here taking notes like, what does it mean? What do these words mean? What are they talking about? Oh, I crossed my shading over. Wah. Anyway. Oh, <laughs> good. <laughs> Spiracy board already in the making. But for us, exactly. We could totally... We could totally make stuff for ourselves, especially since, theoretically, we could always remake it later as actual stuff if we wanted. Theo for me. Theo? Theo could be cool. Theo could be one of the double charms where one side it's him in his armor, and the other side it's him out of his armor. Like a flip charm. I was thinking of flip charms. I was like, what's- what- do I have anything that'd be good as a flip charm? You know, like, where one side's different, you know, like, two different images. Uh, but I couldn't think of anything. Tommy's is kind of that, but not, like, not the, not, not the same, not exactly what I'm thinking about. I don't know, f flip charms would be fun, but adds a layer of complication that I don't know if my brain wants to deal with. <laughs> Bucky flip charm. Looks so naked without his hair strand. <laughs> so naked without it to me. Alright, now I gotta do the hair. Or, sorry, the wings. Where the fuck are those? I have so many layers. How many layers am I at? It's under 20, which... Or no, it's not under 20. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 if you include the sketch. Which is like not a lot, but for me is a lot. <laughs> Keep in mind, I'm a man whose max layer count at the end of a piece is usually 10. <laughs> All right, I have no clue how I want to shade these wings. <laughs> 25, yeah. It's a lot. For me. I'm aware to no one else is that a lot of layers, but for me it's like a ton. Cause I'm doing lineless, right? So like shading... So each piece of him is its own layer basically, and the shading its own layer. Yeah, so like... So like any part that has skin basically... So like... The booba is like the booba, the blush shading, and then the actual shading. So it's three. Same with the ears, the feathers, the fa face feathers and ear feathers. Those are their own layers. Stuff like that. I did combine the hair, the main part of the hair together though. Because I realized I didn't really need the bun to be separate. I try and be pretty thorough with my line lists when it comes to layering. To prevent tragedy later. <laughs> I've fucked myself over too many times. Okay, let's go down. So, beep.
<laughs> Carmen work my abhorred. Abhorred. Understandable. What are the costumes for, Ollie? I I'm, I'm curious if you'll humor me. Rude. <laughs> First off, rude. My parents go to this college thing every year. My dad takes classes. My mom does other shit for all the spouses. It's a whole thing. Well, if it's a costume party. Oh, I see. And they didn't finish their costumes, so they <laughs> dumped them on you? <laughs> That's so unfortunate. So who gets, gets to fix it? Like a car of corporate for my dad. Jesus Christ. And they're giving you one day? Like today to do it? It is a little bullshit, I would say.
<laughs> Every year? Oh no. OJ, I also realized something we could technically do is like charm commissions, theoretically? Where, where basically people could like calm you to like design a charm, get it produced, and then mail it to the person. It'd be pretty expensive because like it'd be like you know, illustration commission plus shipping plus theoretically a little bit for the actual charm thing as they're not too bad by themselves. Um, but theoretically that's something you could do if we like producing this kind of stuff. Custom charm commissions. Could be fun, yeah. I was just thinking about that. The sample pack? Mmm, yeah. The thing game the sample pack, though, is we'd have to design a lot of stuff. Especially stuff we don't really plan on selling. Unless there's different sample packs. I looked at one of them, and it included, like, a bunch of stuff like stands and charms and stuff like that. And that's not really stuff we need to worry about right now. Something that uses default. No, you can you can put your own designs in for that. Oops, that was the, that was the wrong layer. Display boxes are cute. I think I looked at those. They're nice. <laughs> For me. <laughs> of course, of course.
They do this in the wrong order. Yes, am I restarting? Fuck no. I don't think they can be picky, you know? When they're- when they're just dumping this on you. I think it's fair to be like, hey, I had to take some shortcuts kind of thing. Time to, <laughs> time to fix all this green. Uh, what order should I go in? Alright, if our teams are closed, I haven't actually looked at the score in a second. Let me see. I am, based on previous years, I'm pretty sure my team's gonna <laughs> lose again. Uh, yeah, they're always like so close, but usually whoever's consistently in the lead is who wins, which has been Wither. I only saw, I only saw, um, Bloom go in the lead once, and that's it. Loom was in the lead once and then never again, from what I saw, so... You have to survive one night. You got this, man, you got this. Oh, I didn't fucking decide what color for the feathers. For the shading. It's three different shades of red is the problem. <laughs> we'll see how that looks. This is definitely my favorite of the Lamp albums. I think I point that out every time, but I just like it so much. Yeah, that's the face I want. Yeah, this one. Very soft. Mm. All right, face.
you can still kind of see the gradient. I was worried that the gradient was completely washed out from the eyebrows and stuff. Doesn't need to be super distinct, I just want it to be there. <laughs> Oh, tablet, why are you being mean to me? There we go. Yeah, I'm making this for, uh, for Link. I don't remember <laughs> what possessed me to draw this, but I sketched it as, like, a bit, and then I liked how it looked, so I was like, fuck, I guess I'm finishing it. And then I decided to make it lineless, because I hadn't done lineless in a while. So I figured it could be, could be good for that. I might also be working on a lineless attack here, too. I'll at least start an attack. I don't know how long I'll be going for. I'll probably take a break to go start food. Because I'm cooking buttered chicken tonight, and I'm very excited. Assuming my appetite comes back. <laughs> what tag and art fight should I browse? To draw or just for, like, fun? Because <laughs> for you, those are two very different things. <laughs> to draw. You should draw a character with wings, so try, like, <clears throat> I'd suggest bird, but that just might give you, like, full bird characters. You could just try wings. <laughs> just try wings and see if you get anything. And then you could always go for, like, angels or avian or something. Just try wings. See what you get if you put in wings. <laughs> but I respect it. I completely and <laughs> utterly think you are, but you have to respect it. Oh, please don't do that. That's a crime, you can't do that. There you go. Booba. 
I love that I just called it Booba. <laughs> I mean, that's what it is, but it amuses me every time I look. Honestly, if I... I could draw so much art of just <laughs> men in these styles of sweaters. <laughs> All the ones I want to draw are on my teams. Here, Jay, do you want a challenge? Can I challenge you? Where... where are they? So all my bookmarks are people on my team, but... Where... here. Do I remember their username? Because I could just put it in manually. Aha! I will give you a random character from someone on my team to draw. Want that? Is that good for you? Alright. Do you want... Human? Hmm. Human, Anthro, or a little guy? Because they have one of all three. So you got human, Anthro is a like, furry style monster character. Or a little guy. Who's like a sim more simplistic little dude. I'll give you some choice in this matter. Oh, he has a plushie! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, so. Human? Got it. I'll send it in chat. You should draw... Chili. They're an artist and VTuber I follow. You chose their VTuber. There you go. A dude. I just think their color scheme and art style is very fun. You could try and go for like a more poppy bold style, who knows? I want to draw them at some point. They're on my team, so I can't use Art Fight as an excuse, but I do want to draw them at some point. I also want to... I just want to show off the plush. So I think the little guy, he's called Sippy. I think it's their mascot, like their BB. And they have a plush. <laughs> that's just a direct link to the image. Their little guy has a plush, and that's why I, I was like, oh, <laughs> look at him. I love him. He's so good. Very cute. Cubed, exactly. Oh, I need the color for the feather shading. Give me that. See if it looks nice on the wings or not. Yeah, I think I will do separate colors for each shade of the wings, then. It's definitely too dark on the other ones. Nice. Him, him. Alright, let's do this properly. I'll probably just keep the gradient on the face feathers, because it doesn't matter as much. But for the wings, I care, so... Uh, let's do it this way.
I do like this darker color for the top section actually. I'm gonna like unintentionally spend all my time on stream just <laughs> finishing this. But I want it to look nice. Also this is the most fun I've had drawing something in like a hot second. Maybe I just need to draw more men in boob cut sweaters. Nope. Pardon me, I'm taking my slide you back. Um, but yeah, maybe I just need to <laughs> follow my passions. I did decide last night that I want to draw more of Hot Tommy, so. <laughs> For, you know, posing practice. <laughs> you know, for science. Uh, is that all of them? I think so. Yeah, there we go. That looks less weird. Hot <laughs> Tommy, you say? He's important to me. I need to redesign him. I need to do a minor redesign. Um, like a, just a more official reference. He's getting a very minor redesign. I'm confirming that he has heterochromia. One blue eye, one brown eye. And I need to change his face scars a little bit, I think it was. Now that I've developed the story more than nothing, so I need like a very minor redesign, some t some some tweaks, one might say. Um, do I want that gradient to be more prominent? Maybe a little bit. It's way too much on fifty. I know that. Get with the gradient on them. I am in the VTuber tag. Amazing. I don't remember if I actually ended up tagging Pixel VTuber or not. I've mentioned before my hesitance to label myself as such. So I don't know if I ever did or not. Let me see. I know I labeled him as like my mascot and everything. Did he go in the VTuber tag? He did not. He's not in the VTuber tag. I'm gonna change that. <laughs> There, he's in the VTuber tag now. Just for him. <laughs> uh, now for my favorite part of drawing. Highlights. <laughs> it's like a reward. Tempted to commission a full as VTuber. I plan on it. I need the computer before I get the get the model though. I'm still trying to find one, like, since it's something I definitely want to do and may be able to do in the next year, year and a half, I'm trying to find an artist and, like, you know, bookmark them for later kind of thing. But it it's so hard because I haven't... <laughs> I can't find one that has the style I want while being within the budget I'm comfortable with. It's so hard. But I also, like, I've come to the terms of the fact that, like, I cannot do it. Like, not even rigging. I mean, even the art part would be very, like, hard for me. And I'd rather just get it done right <laughs> by a trusted professional.
I draw it on as one for you? Yeah, that's pretty common. So nice to add the highlights. So it's, it's my favorite part. to update my website soon see if I've drawn anything that I want to put up there it's, it's been a hot second since I've done so Me too. We really we got our jobs and we we're like, alright, pack her up, we're done. <laughs> Don't need to update it anymore, it's not important. I just feel like I haven't been making enough stuff to update it really. Which I mean if I look back at the past few months, I'm sure I can find art that I want on there. I definitely need to dedicate time to work on like concept art or stuff I can put on my website. I need to, I'm gonna make the background color black for this just so I can see the highlights better. Where was I? There I am. I'll oh, make fan art. Yeah, I have a pretty good balance. I have some like nicer fan art pieces that I have in there. But I don't do a lot of fan art nowadays. Our secret little products will help. Yeah, no, for sure. When the time comes. I definitely got- I keep saying it every time I talk about my website. I gotta finish Magic Cafe. So I can, like, get it done and out. And also, like make its page on my site and everything. I only have like a few sprites left, like it's not like art-wise. Art-wise I have sprites and then the ending cards and then that's it. And like I'm gonna do some rewriting and stuff. So much concept art? Yes. We should start working on Bunker soon I think. Like, MM's pretty good. I think, like, I think we're in a good spot for MM to take, like, a breather from it, development-wise. Like, unless we get new ideas for, like, the few problems we have. We should definitely work on Bunker soon. I can write up the basics based on my original notes and stuff. And then we can kind of go from there, honestly. Because I'll do... Because... We'll collaborate. I mean, the two main characters are designed already, so I'll just 
basically draw them again and then we can talk about if we want to change anything about them. And then we'll need- we won't really need a lot of other character designs. We need monster designs, but not a lot of character designs. Monster designs will be interesting once I figure out the vibe. <laughs> I don't- I- it's either- it's either- I think it's on my phone. I started, like, developing Bunker again recently. So, like, I was writing out plot beats and theoreticals and stuff. The story is the part that needs the most work, honestly. Two monster designs have enough time. Yeah, because I couldn't decide if I wanted the monster designs to be based off of, like, cryptids or yokai or something. Like, because I was like, I need, like, like, a theme for these, theoretically, so that I know what I'm doing with them. So that was one I was looking at was, like, yokai. You know, urban legend types. Depends on the story. Well, the story is basically it's post-apocalyptic winter and a kid goes into a military bunker to take refuge from a snowstorm and walks into <laughs> Resident Evil, essentially. <laughs> Just really walks in and it's like, oh, there's monsters everywhere. Great. Love it here. I can't leave. Great. Love it here. <laughs> I can't get out. Great. Good. Good even. Great even. He's a sassy little asshole. I love him. <laughs> Delicious. And I'm so happy Yakuza 8 news came out today, like, um, they invited a Japanese martial art fighter to cameo in the game. I'm assuming as part of a sub-story knowing Yakuza. Um, and in, in, like, a video, the guy posted him, like, going to the studio and, like, getting in the mo-cap machine for, like, the face animations and everything. Um, there's a bit where he's touring the studio floor and they show, like, part of a cutscene from Yakuza 8, and everyone's like, oh, hell yeah, Dachi's back, Namba's back, woo, yippee! And then I, like, I tweeted about this, I was just hyper-focused on the fact that Itchy's hair is in, like, a little ponytail, and I'm like, mmm, mmm, Gucci. <laughs> Literally don't care about anything else, I just have my blinders on. I don't think it's his new hairstyle, unfortunately, I'm assuming it's just for that particular cutscene. Because he's in, like, not PJs per se, but like a white tank top and jeans and stuff. So he's not in his, like, actual costume. So I'm assuming that's not his new hairstyle. I'm assuming that's just, like, a downtime costume sort of thing. Um, that, that being said, I can hope and I can pray. That being said, if they're only showing a cutscene where he's not in his main costume, Maybe his main design got a change. Maybe he looks different. Ah, oh, damn it. My mouse keeps switching monitors from my tablet. So it will just decide that, like, yeah, fuck you. I'm only gonna show up on your laptop monitor. How dare you try and draw? How dare you? 
I gotta open everything and move all my tabs around again. Get over here. Ah, oh, it's still doing it! I fucking hate this tablet. Why are you doing this to me? I'm not using Windows 11. You can't do this to me. So mean to me. I want to research VTuber comms. That, um... Sorry, my brain short-circuited. That master list of... Oh, finally, my fucking mouse is working again. Or my, yeah, my tablet's working again. Uh, that's Discord. I want Clip Studio, please. Um... Thank God. Okay, um... That master list resource thing I mentioned a while ago when I was getting you that Spotify thing you wanted to try, that has a whole section dedicated to artists. Um, and riggers, because I know you said you wanted to theoretically draw yours, then have it rigged. But like, I could always link that to you if you want, if I can find it again. My thing is, is like, for me personally, it's hard finding artists who have the kind of art style I would want. Because of course, traditionally, I'm gonna just talk while I find this resource thing for you. Traditionally, obviously, VTubers are seen in a more anime-esque art style, when I am very much not into that. Especially because this feels mean to say, but it is absolutely true, and I should say it. No one knows how to draw plus-sized characters in in the VTuber community. Not to say it doesn't happen, I just don't think I've ever seen an anime-styled character who is also plus-sized. And, and, and not plus-sized as in, like, boobs and thighs, you know? Like, so it, it's a thing of, like, one, I want to find, like, a cartoony, poppy, um, artist. But I also want to find one that, you know, could draw a plus-size character, <laughs> you know? Um, so that's kind of where I'm at. Because, cause like, I, Pixel's a plus-size character, and it's important to me that he stays that way. So whenever I commission people, I always just hope and, they, and, and pray, you know? I don't want to have to say to an artist, hey, by the way, he's plus-size. I don't know if that's rude or not. You know, my art style is very subjective, of course, so like, especially with his cardigan on, right? So it's hard to tell. Is there just a way to link this to without sending you the whole ass giant spreadsheet link? Well, apparently not, so I'm just gonna send that in DMs. Seen one just so pretty, I can't find her anymore. Oh, I have, I have a few. Like, unfortunately, there's one artist I really, really love. It's uh, Bell Beeps Izzy. Um, very poppy, kind of painted, art style, cartoony, can draw plus size, like, their model is plus sized and everything like that. But, they're out of my price range. Especially because their prices are in USD. So, unfortunately, could not calm Izzy. Um, that, that would be like, you know, dream, best case scenario. But, can't calm Izzy. I have another artist I was looking at a while ago, who I like. Um... So I could always reach out to them again, because they're in my budget and everything. I could just, you know, talk to them and like, I talked to them about it like a while ago when I was inquiring and asking uh, questions about it. And they were like, and I was like, I literally was like, I'm so sorry if this is a dumb question, but I have to ask, is there limitations to V2 models like V, like Vroid Studio and resolutions and like canvas sizes or something stupid like that? Where I was essentially like, is there any logical reason why people don't make plus size VTubers or is it just, you know, not wanting, not people not really making fat characters? And they were like, oh no, I could draw you a plus size character. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> people are fat phobic. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting, thank you. So, you know. <laughs> I also would want a character that's not front-facing. Like a model that's not front-facing. 
which is not incredibly common because it's easier to use like the symmetry and all that kind of stuff. I just prefer having a model that faces one direction. So... Unfortunately, if I am commissioning someone for a model, I'm gonna be picky about it. So, so it's like, oh, <laughs> so it's like I have a lot of things going against me. Plus size character, cartoony style, you know. Theoretically, not a front-facing model. I'm unsure how I want to do the highlight on on this. I, I went back up. I was on the face. That's right. <laughs> Trying to do this systematically from top to bottom on my layering, but I'm getting lost in the sauce because there's so many layers now that I did the shading. <laughs> Absolutely lost in the sauce. I think I'm on hair now, actually. Oh, I should probably put shine on the teeth. The chompers.
<laughs> Sorry, I just remembered what inspired me to draw this and it made me laugh. Um... I was listening to that remix, the CPR, Reese's Puff, whatever remix. I was listening to that and that- <laughs> and that's- and that's what I was listening to when I drew this, that's- that, that is how we got here, that's what it was. <laughs> I just remembered that. <laughs> It was specifically the CPR part that, <laughs> that, that made me make this. Because we were talking about, I said to Link, that this character, San, is all three parts of that song at once. <laughs> so... Oh, uh, that's funny. I can't believe I forgot that. Oh, God. I feel like I should do lineless art more. It's just so different from what I usually do nowadays. Especially where I'm messing around with how I'm doing line art and all that stuff. But I mean, looks good, looks clean, <laughs> feels healthy.
There, look at this handsome lad. Handsome dude. Oh, did I not put- I didn't. I just completely forgot. Wait. the layers again once I'm done. I feel like my voice sounds weird as hell today. Like when I like sometimes when you talk, like you can just feel it. I feel I feel I feel it in this house tonight. Oh, did I just skip to the middle of another album? Oh, it did. Illegal. Do not do that. <laughs>
Man, I, I think it's been like over a year since I rendered wings in any shape or form. Probably when I drew, <laughs> drew this character last year. I do not know what I'm doing. Yippee. <laughs> well, you just kind of bullshit your way through it, don't you? Someone with a feathered and winged character. Yes, you can just wing it every time. Yeah, because I don't know. I don't really draw wings or draw them properly, question mark. So I did some research into it for this and all that. Kind of got like a method in mind for autonomy. Anatomy. Why do I always- I always do that. Anatomy of them and stuff. Maybe I'll try and find a character of wings on Art Fight to do practice with. Character of wings, you say? Yes, yes. <laughs> that just Hazel, your wife. Yes, I do need to do a revenge for you. As do I need to do one for Naomi and Jay. I do need to do that. I see. I was wondering. I was so confused for a second. There you Asking Clip Studio to copy all these layers might kill it.
<laughs> I finally actually looked at what you're drawing. Yes, hello. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I haven't looked this entire time. <laughs> booba. Booba. Some booba. <laughs> I feel like this sketch definitely looks a little more sassy. How many layers total, not including the sketch? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 35. 36 if you count the drop shadow, but I don't know if I'm keeping that or not. That is so many layers for me. In comparison, I'm gonna open up the last thing I lined. Which was an art fight attack, I think. So like, in in comparison, my usual lined art has... Alright. Yeah, okay, so let's see. So including the logo, or not including the logo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this one has seven, and that's mostly because it has like the background and little things. But like, yeah, sub 10 is my usual. <laughs> this one has like 35. Oh, it's been a while.
Come on, Clip Studio, you can do it.
we go. I'll, <laughs> I'll call that done there before I fiddle with it anymore. I'm going to take a quick BRB and I'm gonna go start some food. I'm gonna go start dinner and I'll come back, I'll stream for another. <laughs> That's what I'm talking for. That's what I'm gonna talk about. Uh, who do I wanna do next? Hmm. I guess stick the lineless theme I'll do for my art fight attack. I'll work on Leon. A lad. Alright. So yeah, I'm gonna go and start food. And I'll come back and we'll probably go for about another 45 to an hour. Because I gotta wait for a chicken to cook. And then when that's done, um... I'll probably be actually streaming with Jay. Jay's streaming uh, Stray tonight, and I will be there. <laughs> so, we'll do a little bit more art for about another hour or so. I'll go make food, and then later tonight, I will be over on Jay's stream. Yeah. Anyway, I'll be right back. Let me just hush, hush the music. Shh. <laughs> uh, awesome.
Hello. Where is my me? Where am I? Oh, so sad. <laughs> There I am. <laughs> I was so sad I was gone for a second. Lost in the void. Uh, I kind of want to switch my music. What do I want to switch to? <laughs> Another lamp album. <laughs> there. A new lamp album. One sec, clearing out some notifications. Tweet the stream link. Bum -bum. All right. start on this. When I made this, I was like, I need to, like, try using the symmetry tool. I've been seeing a lot of people doing it for, like, different techniques for consistency. So I was like, you know what, I don't use those a lot. Maybe I'll give it a try.
I really need to check if Lamp is on Spotify or not. I listen- I have like four of their albums on YouTube saved to listen to. Man, there's a lot of fun character designs on Artfight this year. It's also probably because I've expanded my design horizon slightly, so more even more of them are appealing to me.
Oops. There you go. Welcome back. There. Wonder how much of this I'll be able to get done before I have to pop off for the night. I could probably at least get the flats done, I'm sure. Shading and stuff might have to wait, but. I've snacked and now it's back to the grind. Amazing.
Oh, I drew the hair on the the same layer as the head. I'm so sad. That sucks. Are you kidding me? It was looking so nice. Let's try this again. <laughs> <laughs> 